begin with the trial of John Edwards. Melanie Sloan is the executive director of the Citizens Group, called group, uh, the group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. And Hampton Dellinger is a North Carolina attorney who is right there in court today. While there's no argument Edwards is a cad, this case is about whether he violated campaign law, an issue whether nearly a million dollars that two wealthy supporters, Bunny Mellon and Fred Barron, gave to cover up his affair with Riel Hunter and the subsequent birth of their child were campaign contributions or simply personal gifts. Prosecutors say they were campaign contributions that were used illegally because <clears throat> they allowed Edwards to stay a viable presidential candidate. But the defense for Edwards says the money was simply a gift, and further, that Edwards didn't know about it at the time. Well, only eight years ago, of course, he was the toast of the Democratic Party. In the 2004 primary, he was John uh, Kerry's principal competition, a liberal from the South who talked about the poor, but also knew how to talk about all kinds of issues and talk to rural blue-collar voters. Democrats have been losing in all these elections. Well, he was a dynamic speaker and electrifying, able to electrify supporters wherever he appeared. And John Kerry made Edwards his running mate. He eventually became the subject of parody, however, in 2008. Edwards' attention to his presidential good looks were mocked in this hairbrushing clip that went viral. Well, it's funny unless you're him. Anyway, let me go to uh, Hampton Dellinger covering a much more serious matter than parody, the reality of this trial, which could place John Edwards in prison for 20 years. What happened today in the first day, sir? Well, Chris, I thought it was going to be a dry academic discussion about election law, the kind only Melanie and me and maybe you would be interested in. But it's turned into a mixed martial arts cage match, in essence, not the United States versus John Edwards, but John Edwards versus Andrew Young. We're looking now at pictures of him going into the trial. Well, when Andrew Young was promoting his tell-all book, The Politician, it was called, I interviewed Young, the main accuser here, and it's a preview, I believe, of the tact the Edwards team may take to discredit Young himself, what I did. Let's listen to what I did, because apparently it's a preview of what the Edwards team's going to do to the main witness against them today. You're pretending to be a loyal aid to John Edwards for a year when you really weren't, that you, had, that you were working either against him or you didn't like the guy anymore? I don't know that I was working against him, but I was, I was on Fred Barron's payroll. I was not on John Edwards' payroll. And, but he uh, thought you were an Edwards guy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you're well, right. how do you feel about that being basically a rat fink? I mean, working for a guy, you know, I, I can't imagine being in politics working for a guy that I'd, that I'd given up on. It seems to me you ought to get out. Hampton, that was my tough charge. Is that what they're going to do in court as the days proceed in hearings? Oh, absolutely. Even the prosecution, which is putting forward Andrew Young as their star witness, spent a good amount of uh, time today talking about his arrest record. He's had two arrests. That came out on direct examination. Edwards' team made it clear in the opening statement by the North Carolina lawyer, the local lawyer, Allison Van Landingham, not D.C. super lawyer Abby Lowell, that this case is about Andrew Young lining his pockets, not John Edwards trying to promote his campaign. What is the fact in dispute whether he knew about this money coming from Bunny Mellon and Barron uh, or that uh, the money was used as campaign con contribution, therefore shouldn't, shouldn't have been used for covering up an embarrassing affair and a child out of wedlock? Well, I had always thought that Edwards would focus just on the law, that it, there's never been a prosecution for this type of arrangement before, money from third parties to another third party. It wasn't a quid pro quo. It didn't line Edwards' pockets. It didn't buy a TV ad. Yeah. And clearly Edwards is going to focus on lack of criminal intent. But they're also saying that this is essentially Andrew Young defrauding Bunny Mellon, and John Edwards knew nothing about it.
Okay, let me go right now to Melanie Sloan, who's an expert in these kind of cases. What do you, when you look at this case, I am very skeptical. I have to tell you right now, Melanie, I don't think this is a criminal case of any merit at all. I think they found some new way, this Republican U.S. attorney who was held over by the president to prosecute this case. I have always thought from the beginning that they went after a guy who had a messy uh, situation. He was unf unfaithful to his wife. He had a child with someone else. The wife died, and many people, including me, really respected Elizabeth uh, Edwards. And now he's being blamed for doing something that really isn't related at all to those uh, misdeeds. Your thoughts? I'm with you entirely, Chris. I, I can't understand at all how the public integrity section is allowing this case to go forward. There's really no basis uh, for a prosecution here. There's never been a prosecution on facts remotely similar to these facts. Uh, and in fact, we know that the prosecution is just attempting to inflame the jury here by playing to the love people had for Elizabeth Edwards and how vile a person John Edwards was. Abby Lowell sought to have the trial to the judge, a bench trial, and the prosecution declined that opportunity. So they're willing to expend all sorts of resources to try and persuade the jury that this guy who cheated on his wife uh, deserves to go to jail. And really, if that were true, an awful lot of politicians have a lot to worry about. Well said. I want you to just take a minute now because you know this case from both sides. Give the prosecution argument at least. What Their argument is that this was really a campaign contribution because it helped clean the guy's record or prevent more, more rather to prevent him from a scandal, from the public knowing about this affair, right? They call that a campaign contribution. My question is, anything you do for a candidate, is that a contribution to his campaign? I wonder. Your thoughts? Well, that's exactly the problem. Is anything, any money spent by a third party automatically a campaign contribution? This isn't money that ever came into the campaign in any way. It went to Andrew Young for Riel Hunter's support. John Edwards said he wasn't involved and didn't know about it. Uh, and furthermore, campaigns are, candidates are banned from using campaign contributions for personal use. There's a prohibition on that. You could go to jail for that. And uh, personal use is anything, any kind of expense you might have, irrespective of the fact that you're a candidate. Well, presumably having a mistress is not something you, uh, is something you would still do, even if you weren't a candidate. So you can't use campaign funds for that. Okay. So if you can't use campaign funds for that, how is it you're prosecuted when somebody else spends money on your mistress? It just okay, doesn't let's make hear, any let's sense. Let's the other side. Hampton, if you could just give us a sense of what is the prosecution case really about for people who want to know exactly what this guy's in jail for, I mean, what he's facing 20 years for rather well you know i'm a clean uh, campaign guy a do-gooder type uh, down in north carolina in terms of upholding and wanting vigorous election laws and i certainly am troubled chris when you have hundreds of thousands of dollars in the orbit of a candidate for a high public office coming from his political supporters and there's no question i think this is a mixed motive case edwards wanted to save his marriage and he wanted to save his campaign but there's also no question that there's never been a case like this before never been a prosecution based on facts like this why do you think the prosecutor acted? Do you think it was partisan? Now, the guy who brought the charges and investigated this case was a U.S. attorney picked by the previous president, President George W. Bush. He then went on to announce his candidacy for Congress coming out of this case. Was it partisan? Is that a fair assumption? It was a partisan well, prosecution. It's certainly a troubling fact. You know, the, the George Holding, the Republican, who will find out in a couple of weeks whether he's going to be the, a member of Congress because it's a safe Republican seat. He might, if he wins his uh, congressional primary, he might be running for John Edwards' old Senate seat. He drove this investigation. He drove the press for an indictment. And a week after he got the indictment, after crossing swords with Edwards some over the years in a partisan way, he steps down and announces he's running as a Republican for Congress. It doesn't look great. And I tell you what looked terrible today. Chris, was that Andrew Young, the government star witness, was contacting other witnesses in the case as recently as a few days ago. It's a very serious uh, fact that's come out. The government can't be happy with it, particularly on the heels of the Ted Stevens prosecution, which went so poorly. That was a disastrous case. Let me go back to Melanie. Melanie, it seems to me that this guy, Andrew Young, I don't think much of him, obviously. You can tell that from the tape we just showed. I call him a rat fink because he pretended to be loyal to Edwards all the time. He was basically working against him. Terrifically. Let me ask you about this. Why is he being such a good government witness? Has he been uh, uh, immunized against uh, prosecution himself? He has indeed been immunized. He's got immunity from prosecution, and he has all sorts of legal problems. And I, I think that's uh, going to be one of the issues here. And further, even in his own book, he talks about the gifts from Fred Barron and Bunny Mellon, and he talks about them as being legitimate gifts, not campaign contributions. So he's even, the prosecution's even going to need Andrew Young to refute his own words in his own book. 
Well, there's nothing I like less than seeing our own country, the judiciary system, which has been historically independent, becoming partisan like those third world countries where the minute you lose an election or fall out of political power, the people in power begin to prosecute you. I don't like the smell of it. Anyway, thank you, Melanie Sloan. Thank you, Hampton Dellinger. And I'm no fan of John Edwards.